here. Boom. Gorgeous. Can I blow that up somehow? Because that's not super duper useful for me. All right, let's draw. Let's draw an altar to start with. How about that? Yeah, exactly, Helen. I cannot, for the life of me, tell the difference between a normal and a trapped chest in Minecraft. If someone could point a gun to my head and tell me to pick which one was the trap chest, and I, I would 50-50 guess it. I, there's no way. I just do not see anything different. I've stared at it <laughs> a lot because it bugs me. Um, all right. Let's do this, shall we? Oh, as soon as I start drawing, the picture is going to go away from me. All right. I don't know why I'm pretending to be so serious about this, because it's going to be absolutely horrible garbage. Let's draw... Let's see. I'm just going to... How about I do a color picker so I don't even have to worry about it? Oh, can I not... Oh, I can't pick something off screen, can I? I have to pick... Wow. All right, cool. So, color. Um, we'll do a dark gray. How about that? So we've got like a. Oh, I'm still using the picker. Gosh darn it! <laughs> <laughs> Off to a great start. Off to a great start. Yeah, isn't isn't paint wonderful? You can only pick colors within paint itself. So we've got like a bone on either side there's a bone there and then there's like the bottom of the altar here and then there's a bone here little hearts at the end so that you know it's a bone that's a kind of a that, that person had scurvy <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a crooked bone. Um, okay, then we want the top of the altar here. And then we'll have the red base to the altar in a bit. Um, oh gosh. Oh gosh, seriously? Okay, we've got a big skull here. Big skull. Oh gosh, this is hard! And then we have a little skull next to it. Seriously, who can do this? Who can art anyway? This is ridiculous. <laughs> looks more like a slice of bread. How, how do you even art? Really though. Okay, there's a skull and then, oh freaking crap. We need a rib cage on the big skull. Are you serious game? Why is your art so detailed? Freaking rib cage! Oh my gosh! Really? Come on, mouse. See, I'm being held down by my mouse right now. This is so bad. The mouse is not as accurate as I need it to be. And then we need like a lighter gray fill behind it. Oh gosh, it filled that in. And it filled the bone in too. Oh no! Why did it fill the bone in? Really though. Where is it not complete? Oh, I see. It's sneaking out here. I need to fill that in. And it's sneaking in there. Alright, let's get detailed here, because I am a detailed artist. Obviously. I need to have the highest quality for my artwork as possible. Um, oh, hold on. We don't want... We don't want the rib cage filled in. Ah, no. Do it right. And then we gotta. Ah. Meh. Get good, Cthulhu. Get good. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right. Um, and then let's see. I need to erase this part because the skull doesn't have a line going through it. 
And then we need to get some black, and we need to make some spoopy eyes. Like so, and then every skull needs to have like straight across and some teeth. And we'll put some eyes and teeth on this piece of bread over here. <laughs> this guy's a little like, meh. It's kind of a meh skeleton. Meh. And then this guy's bigger, so we'll give him eyes and a nose. I used to like drawing skulls as a kid, and I probably have not improved at all since then, honestly. But, I mean, what kid doesn't like drawing skulls? At least what boy doesn't? They're super cool. There we go. Alright. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Uh, oh, we actually do want to fill in the bones, I just realized. And I guess we're doing with a darker gray. I kind of like that. That works for me. Okay, so now, let's, uh, let's outline in black. We need to get kind of the pedestal going here for the actual sacrificing altar bit. There we go, and then we need to fill that in pretty bright red. Probably come up from all the damsel blood. There we go. That's coming along. Somebody tweet at Proxy. Please no. Please no. <laughs> I'm doing a masterpiece. Uh, um, I think I'm just going to put the, the damsel on the altar and leave it at that. Because I don't think I can possibly do any more detail than that. Um, okay, so let me quick get a Slothbert picture up and running here. Oh! I just realized I'm blocking most of it. Like, you can't even see half of what I'm doing, because I had my scene covered. My bad. My bad. Oh, gosh! I did not mean to do that. There we go. Now you guys can see how good it looks. Sorry about that. Put me on the altar? <laughs> no, we gotta, we gotta sacrifice Slothbert. Um, Spelunky Sloth. Go to images. There we go. That's who I want to see. Oh, look at that cute little sloth. Although that's a really pixely image of him. Let's use something else. This guy is super detailed. That is not. That does not bode well for me. Not at all. Um, all right. So let's get this added in here. Where's the sloppy? There you are, little buddy. Alright, so this is who we're gonna add in. I'll actually get it out of the way this time. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Make the angle right? What, what about this do you think would ever be right? <laughs> Nothing about this work of modern art is going to be correct in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> uh, okay, I am going to have to scroll this a little bit so I have some more room for the sloth bird. Alright. Oh gosh, this guy has way too much going on. Seriously. Okay, let's start with his back. And we'll work from there. So he kind of curves up, he's a little, a little hunched. And then he's got kind of an arm coming down. And his knuckles kind of come up and around like that. And then his arm comes back up. And then his body comes down. Wait, what? Art? What? That doesn't look right. Um. <laughs> um. Okay, let's start on the leg. So he's kind of got like a knee here, and it comes down, <laughs> and then I guess his body kind of comes down here, and he's got like a little band for his pants, and he's got red undies on. <laughs> Perfect! 
Shift it. It's done. Okay, and he's got another little foot sticking out here. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Something's gone horribly wrong. Um, hold on, let's try to clean that up a little bit. We need to make his leg a little chubbier. So it kind of like comes down here. And this is his hand, a little finger. And then his band will come like here. I don't know. It does something. And he's got... Okay, let's, let's get his cute little head working. <laughs> okay, it kind of comes up and then he's got like a little mullet thing going on. It's like a little bit of hair back here. <laughs> and his hair kind of comes up and he's got like a little bit of a widow's peak action going on. And then he's got another arm that kind of comes down behind his leg and then this is just like dead space here I don't know he's got big old cute nose or like little nose holes and then he's got that cute little oh don't sacrifice me kind of eye that makes him look angry actually And then another eye that's kind of off to the side here. You know, this isn't horrible. And then he's got this cute little smile like, Aw, you'd never sacrifice me, would you? We're the best of friends. You know, that ain't half bad. And I think he's got like some dark... He's kind of got dark gray hair, doesn't he? Kind of? I don't know, what the crap hair is that? <laughs> oh, I don't even know anymore. Okay, well, let's let's work on something I can handle. Let's get his pants put together. <laughs> it's just like... It's just stuff that's missing and I used the wrong color there. We'll roll with it. That's the important part about art is you just... You work with what life gives you. You work with the happy trees and you work with the sad trees and you just you roll with it. Okay. And now we need some red pants that are totally going to blend in with the red sacrifice table, but what are you going to do? Boop. Okay. Um, his body is like really, really light gray. Or should we give him a rose body? How would that look? You know, actually, I kind of don't hate that. <laughs> He's just hunched over and there's like these, these big gaps. Um, how would that look? See, like to me, the rose and the light gray look really similar. I think I did, yeah, gray 25%, rose, yeah, those look super similar to me. What do you guys think? I think that ain't too bad. Oh, hold on. I guess I do I do need to make his nose darker. Cause that that ain't right. I was kinda going for an artistic, um, like impressionist nose there, but I think we do need to actually darken that up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that looks better. You know what? I kind of like how our little our little guy turned out. What do you guys think? That ain't half bad. He looks furless <laughs> from the neck down. <laughs> it's the fuzz. <laughs> yeah, if if wifey saw this art, I would be in super deep trouble because it's so bad. It would hurt her sensibilities. You've got like <laughs> We've got undead toast down here, <laughs> and this really like hunched over sloth bird, and we've got the uh, the scurvy bone over here. <laughs> he looks like a Mexican wrestler. <laughs> oh no, wife, he's watching. Oh, it's the fuzz. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 
They made me do it, wifey. They coerced me to do it. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's so good. I'm so proud. You know, honestly, face-wise, I'm kind of okay with how that turned out. He might look a little more like a koala than a sloth, but I'm kind of okay with his derpy little face. Like, I think I got a lot of emotion in that face, don't you guys? Check this out. Look at that face. What's not to love? Huh? Huh? You see the resemblance? Huh? <laughs>